Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va? Va bien? Since I am in the Western Sahara, the police stop me every few kilometers, asking me for what they call la ficha. It's simply a photocopy of my documentation. Uh, number uh, here. Yeah, I don't have. Do you have a pen? No pen. I think I. No, do you, you don't have? I th here. Okay, I think I have one here. A Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. I have, yeah. Right. Honda. Honda, yes. Perfect. And this is the number. Number. You go to our show. Yeah, no show today. Okay, okay. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a good day. I like you. <laughs> they probably stop me 15 to 20 times, and they simply ask for a photocopy of my passport with the registration number of my motorcycle. One fish for you. Camera. No. Okay. I put the the number of the motorbike. Yep. Achi. Perfect. This. <laughs> you. Sava. Sava. Yep. On you, Monsieur. On you. Très bien. Yeah. Ça va, va bien. La ficha? Onda. Hola. Ah? Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Español. ¿Hablas español? Sí. You speak. Yeah. ¿Qué tal estás tú? Bien. <laughs> bien. Eh, J. H. Español. Y yeah, español. 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 Bueno. Sí, eh? sí. Tú hablas bien español. Vale. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. This is the passport. Gracias a ti. Que tengas buen día. Like in many countries around the world, in Mauritania they don't miss a single soccer game. Since I'm not going to make it to the border, I'm going to stop to grab a bite. Uh, five. Take... Did one? Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm definitely not getting to the border today. Well, I'll get there, but not on time. I've been told that from where I am to there, it's three hours. It's four o'clock, so I would arrive at seven and the border closes at six. So there's no point in speeding. I've stopped to eat my meal and relax. camp today and tomorrow I'll wake up in no hurry and cross to the border. I'm really not in any hurry. I don't have a visa or anything, so I really don't care if I cross today or tomorrow. I've gone throughout all these miles seeing how the landscape changed little by little. And suddenly, it surprises you a hole in the middle of the road. I'm losing control in the sand, and I can't ride well through the sand. Crossing holes with this bike isn't that bad. I'm gonna go faster because he is too slow. Oh, I'm an idiot for trying to go fast. I'm a little sorry for the donkeys. They seem down, like if... Move away! Like if they had no desire to live. Just look, he doesn't even care. 
I don't know. I feel sorry for them. After a few days in Nuuk Chot, I kept riding south with the intention of crossing Senegal. But the night fell, so I had to camp. So, here I am, camping, in the place that I have to say is quite nice. As I left Nuuk Chot, in the southern part of Mauritania, you can see that there's a little more vegetation. It starts to be less deserted and it starts to have a slightly nicer weather. There are two ways to Senegal, Rosso or Diama. I decided to cross through Diama, in which you have to cross a track through a natural park. And it's been a really good choice. Because after so many days in the desert, getting to a natural park with some lakes around, with vegetation, with animals, it's full of wild boars. And to be honest, I'm really liking this area. It's so nice. I camped about 10 kilometers away from Senegal. So, now I'll pick up everything and try to cross. To be honest, I like the south of Mauritania more than the north. They seem almost like two different countries. Well, I'm looking forward to enter Senegal. It seems to be a little bit nicer. The tracks look very nice, and it starts to get a little bit leafier and greener. This cow looks like she went to sleep. And meanwhile, there's a kid riding a donkey. A little greenery, finally. I'm on the road that goes to Diyama. I had the option to go through a different asphalted road. The problem is that, well, they say that it's more corrupt than this one. Much, much more. So I've chosen this one, and also I prefer to ride off-road. I am happy with my choice. There are a lot of boars. A lot of birds, too. There's life in this place. And all of this that I have left, if I'm not wrong, is the Senegal River, which gives a name to the country. This is a natural park. The natural park of... I, I can't remember the name, but it's really nice. Really cool. Coming from the desert to find something green with animals and some nice wild boars. Look at them! Thank goodness they're afraid of me because I'm more afraid of them. I'm getting close to what I guess is known as the Sub-Saharan Africa. The Black Africa. This is going to be my Christmas dinner. Some delicious macaroni with tomato. I'm camped at this natural park with my motorcycle and my tent. Today I have to tighten the chain, which I have to do from time to time. Over time it gets loose, which is normal, and I need to tighten it, which doesn't take too long. It's just about 10 minutes. But in the end, out of laziness, you just leave it day after day, and the chain can suffer a lot. So a quick tightening. A few screws that I need to fix. Because the motorcycle vibrates a lot on the track, it trembles a lot. You can see that. It suffers a lot. Just tighten some screws and I'll try to cross to Senegal today. Well, to be honest, the bike is behaving very well. I'm getting used to the heavy weight, and my Achilles heel to this day is still the sand. When there's little sand, I'm good. But when there's a lot of sand, I'm screwed. Let's go to Senegal, to Lac Rose. Let's see if I can eat there. <laughs> 